In this tutorial, we will teach you how you can use the J, K, L keys to trim a clip in Premiere Pro. The J, K, and L keys can be used to navigate around the timeline. For example, the L key can be used to play forwards, the K key can be used to pause, and the J key can be used to move backwards in the timeline. If you press the J or L key multiple times, the playback speed will increase accordingly. Okay, so now that we have a basic understanding of how the J, K, and L keys can be used to navigate through the timeline, let's see how these keys can be used to trim a clip. If we move the cursor towards the edge of this clip here, you'll notice that the cursor icon changes. If you double click over here, you will notice that in the program sequence, a sort of a mini trim panel is activated. Now if we press the J key, the selected clip will play backwards. And if we pause the clip by pressing K, you will notice that we have trimmed the end of this clip. You can still play forwards by pressing the J key, but it will stop eventually when it reaches the end of the clip, and this notification will be shown to you in that case. You will notice over here that a gap is left where we trim the clip. That's because in this case, we're using the red mode trimming tool. In order to remove the gaps, you can still right click on the gap and click on the ripple delete option. But if you are working on a long project, that can disrupt the entire timeline at times. So what if there was no gap to begin with when we trim the clip using the J, K, and L keys? For that, if we press the control key while moving the cursor to the start of the second clip here, you will notice that the yellow mode handle is activated now. Now if we use the L key to move the clip forwards, and over here, right about at the third second, this is where we want the clip to start. So let's pause it by pressing K, and you'll notice that Premiere will automatically ripple trim this clip without leaving any gaps. The J, K, and L keys are quite useful tools in Premiere Pro, primarily because the only way you can know if the cut has the right time is to play through the timeline and watch the clip in real time. The J, K, and L keys allow you to play through the sequence, and you can trim the clip at the right time by pressing a single key. And that's basically how you can use the J, K, and L keys for trimming a clip in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.